Hi, I'm Jason Chikonsky. I'm Jose Garces. My name is Eric Burley, and this is my brother Ryan. I'm Eli Culp. My name is Brent Selick. I'm Ellen Yen. And this is James Fujioka. For me, Old City was a great destination. Just based on our concept, Amada is really, it's, it's Spanish, it's classic, it's old world. You know, this is a timeless restaurant. With years, it's gotten to feel better and it just felt right in this neighborhood. We took over the lease for the old original bookbinder. So our plans are to reopen the bar and really serve some of those uh, old bookbinders classics. Not in a large format, but just more in like a bar setting. When I was first looking for a spot for Fork, I was looking for something that felt really comfortable. And when I came down to Old City, I loved the architecture of the section of town. I liked the funkiness of the neighborhood that it represents a lot of different types of people and a lot of different types of businesses. 17 years later, the neighborhood has evolved. If you want one-of-a-kind shopping or independent restaurants, you'll find them on this side of town versus other sections of the city. Fork opened 17 years ago as one of the first farm-to-table restaurants in Philadelphia. Over the past 17 years, the restaurant has evolved into a contemporary American fine dining restaurant. 10 years ago, we added on a restaurant next door which we recently just rebranded as High Street on Market and reinvented. It's a combination between a bakery, cafe, that evolves into a completely different dining concept in the evening. We are in an extremely culture-rich area of the country, whether it's central Pennsylvania, the Pennsylvania Dutch, and the Amish uh, history there, or South Jersey and the farmlands there. We really have a great selection of products to choose from. We actually recently put in a new menu that we call Our Terroir, focusing just on food that is really from this area and sort of some historical references. We're here at the Franklin Fountain and this is our early 20th century soda fountain. The Franklin Fountain is a time machine. It's like walking back a hundred years ago. We also have Shane Confectionery, which has been here since 1863. Certainly a lot of other businesses in Old City other than ours reference history. It's in the DNA of Old City. It's really fun just to look at the buildings to get that 3D perspective of the businesses that were here over the last 100 to 200 years. Today we are at our restaurant, The Gaslight, on East Market Street in Philadelphia's Old City. We're a great new spot with a really fun, creative brunch menu. The whole premise is to take things that people are comfortable with and familiar with and get them re-excited about them because we're doing them with a little bit more finesse. And this is our first restaurant in Old City. It seemed like a very logical step to kind of move into Old City. I think there is a lot of great things happening here. There's a lot of amazing restaurants that are popping up and the more of us that are here, the better it is for all of us. We have a lot of different specialty cocktails that we're working with. We're just revamping all the cocktails for spring, making them really refreshing. We have some of the best bartenders in the city. We came to owning this restaurant because it was an opportunity. The chef and I have been good friends for the past six years and we came up with an all-American concept in Old City where we feel America began. There's some mainstays that have been here, you know, like Amada, like Continental, that I love to go to. My favorite dish here from the very beginning has been the meatloaf and the barbecue sauce that we use, amazing. I love it. In Old City, there's some of the best cooking going on right now in the city of Philadelphia, no doubt. So there's a really dynamic dining scene happening right here in Old City, and that's something that we're really excited about and that we're willing to invest in by adding restaurants like High Street on Market. What makes it feel right is that it's really walkable. There's a lot of character. There's great museums in the neighborhood, whether it's the Constitution Center, the Liberty Bell, Independence Hall. For me, it just made a lot of sense to bring this concept to this neighborhood. So there's people coming from outside of the city constantly. They come to Philadelphia and go to Old City. This is a lot of people's first and sometimes only impression of what Philadelphia is. And it's time that we start representing that properly.